What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about Fear the Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 5, Burning in Water, Drowning in Flame. What a long title that is for sure. Spoiler warning, if you don't want to know about the episode, we're going to talk about it a little bit, and I don't want to ruin it for you. If you don't want to know, stop watching now. But for those who want to know, here we go. So like I said, spoiler warning, talk about some things about the episode, and it looks to be pretty good. No major deaths in this episode, but it looks to be a good episode, that's for sure. It starts off with a fire, basically, on the ranch. An elderly couple dies, and their house goes up in flames. I think the old elderly woman dies and becomes a walker, and the man basically sets the house on fire by accident. They're looking on the fire, Luciana and Madison, and it's a shame, but, you know, it's what happens and progresses the story. Nick and Luciana watch the fire across the ranch as it goes up in flames jeremiah will just let the fire burn because they can't contain it can't stop it and they probably don't want to waste the water by any means nick is a little burnt on one side or smoke inhalation or something maybe he attempts to go in and help them i don't know but jeremiah and nick have a moment here where you look at nick right here he looks he's going through the rubble or something he looks he tried to help him maybe jeremiah as well or they're just going through the rubble and they got dirty from that Madison, Nick, and Alicia talk before Madison goes with Troy and the, I guess, soldiers, militia, to go out to look for the helicopter and who shot it down. We'll get to find out who shot the helicopter down, and it's probably setting up a big storyline of Troy and Jeremiah's group versus another group, and we actually meet that other group in this episode about time, right? Now, Madison, we'll see a lot of her in this episode, and I heard a report that she, or Kim Dickens, the actress who plays Madison, said she's a more gangster version or gangsta version of Rick Grimes, which is ridiculous. Madison, you, you don't even come close to Rick Grimes by any means, in my eyes at least. But she is a decent character. She's not a great character. But Troy and Madison and the group go out and they find who attacked the helicopter and shot down and evidently killed Travis. And it is this group right here. Not sure the name of the leader, but he's a Native American. And he's setting up a problem with Troy, Jeremiah, and Jake. And they want the group to leave the ranch and to leave the land where the Native Americans and the Mexicans want the Americans and anyone else to leave their land. And that's setting up problems down in the rest of the season. But we get some walkers here. It looks like jailhouse walkers. Troy's taken out a walker with a machete. Madison has to deal with a walker for the close call right here, and it's probably a dramatic thing, like, will she go or whatever? It would just not be a good way for her to go out as she was one of the main stars of the show, so it's probably a dramatic thing, but we all know that she's not going to go out like that. They've got an axe in the neck of the walker, and then I don't know if that's a nightstick or what she's jabbing in the eye of the walker, but we'll see Madison and Troy's militia taking care of some walkers of... Some jail, are they Americans, are they Mexicans, are they just different people that died on the, probably the accident that flipped over the bus. And Troy, the crazy psychopath that he is, is taking out the walker right here. And what do you think of Troy? I mean, he's the clear villain of the season, and we'll see if he's the villain for a lot of the series going forward in season three into season four. But I don't know. I mean, you're definitely going to see a problem with Madison, Nick, his brother Jake, and Jeremiah is letting him do his thing, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's going to be where he crosses the line. Doubt he'll ever hurt Madison, but it'll probably become close, and we'll probably always have to wonder if Troy will hurt Madison, but I think Madison's playing Troy to just keep the group alive, and we'll see how it goes down. I like the bow and arrow here by the guy of his militia probably looking at a walker or the Native Americans that surround Troy's group. Troy, Madison, that'll be an ongoing thing probably the rest of the season, and we'll see if it gets down or it gets old real quick. Hopefully it doesn't, and the season just continues to be good. Strand and Daniel make it back to the hotel. Don't know what to make of Strand, and the hotel looks to be that everyone died, or they left, or some people died and some people left, but Strand and Daniel, their relationship will be tested. We'll see how it goes down. They need each other for right now, but I don't think Daniel trusts Strand by any means, and I wouldn't either. Jake and Alicia, they get together here, so we'll see what that leads down the road of the season, and Alicia seems to be the aggressor towards Jake. Luciana leaves the ranch, and we'll see what's up with her. I could see her going to the group with the Native Americans and Ophelia, and when are we going to see this? When are we going to see Ophelia? That's clearly Ophelia, the Native American leader, another group of that, and Jake, I would assume. 
here you see Ophelia at some gas station or some warehouse thing or something, but later on you see Alicia with Ophelia, so they get together at some point, and just when are we going to see that? Now, when are we ever going to see a crossover with The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead? Probably never. More and more people like Michael Cutlass and Robert Kirkman and Scott M. Gimple and all these people are saying that it'll never happen, and it probably won't because where they're at versus Atlanta, Virginia, Mexico, San Diego, California, it just doesn't make sense geographically, so it'll never happen. But I wish it would. At least one character would make it east or at some point, but I don't think it'll happen. So there you go, guys. Check out my books on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com. That's books one and two available now online. Check me out on Instagram and at Twitter. We post things all the time, and we usually follow back the ones that follow us. Check us out on Facebook, The Walking Dead Community. We've got a page and a group. If you do like this channel, guys, you'll like the group. Like I said, if you do like the channel, hit that subscribe button today. We can't do it without you guys. Join our team, Team PT all the way. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.